Hi friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this applied NLP tutorial, we are going to learn about how to build your own GitHub Copilot using open source model, a language model that is very recently released by Salesforce. This model is called CodeGen. So we're going to use CodeGen to build your own natural language um, language generation model like in this case which is a code gen model where you give a prompt based on that it is going to create python code and then give it to you so this is equivalent of what github copilot is doing so that's why this video is named build your own github copilot with open source salesforce code gen ai the first thing that you have to do is you have to install hugging face transformers make sure that you are installing the latest version so as you can see now right now i have installed it from the github so just to keep it up just to keep up that i am installing the latest version the next thing is um, even before this you should make sure that you are using gpu um, how do you do it you go to the runtime i'm using google collab if you're not familiar i'm going to runtime change runtime and then make sure that you've got gpu why is it important you can still do everything that i'm doing in cpu but if you do it on gpu it'll be faster so that's the only reason in and also as part of this code we are going to convert our model into a gpu model so if you're going to do it on cpu you have to make certain changes which i'll let you know while doing it the, while recording this video but um, but point is if you're doing it on collab do it on gpu that's going to help you after you successfully install transformers library which means you have installed the latest transformers like li library from hugging face transformers the next thing is you need to load two things the first thing is from transformers import tokenizer auto tokenizer and auto model for casual sorry causal lm so these are the two things that you have to load one is the tokenizer the second one is the language model so you're going to use both one is to get the tokenizer the second one is to download the model before even you do that um it's important for you to tell this particular session the code to check whether there is gpu or cpu because you have enabled gpu uh, you need to you need to somehow capture that value so what we are doing here is we are going to say that um, we if CUDA is available then uh, you call it CUDA 0 the, the primary device of GPU else you mark it CPU why it is important just like I said uh, we have tweak this code to take advantage of GPU for uh, for it to have faster training for it to have faster inference so that's uh, that like sorry for it to have faster inference so that's why it's important for you to have um, gpu in this case so the next thing is at this point you have decided um, you have imported the um, required uh, libraries you have um, set the value for device either CUDA or cpu now the next step is you need to download the required models so like i said uh, this model is very recently released but fortunately hugging face team worked with salesforce team and now this model is available on hugging face model hub which means you can download this model as you download every other hugging face model very simply from auto tokenizer dot from pre-trained and get the model for an auto model for causal M lm language model and then from tree train download the model as you can see uh, this might take a little bit of time it says auto tokenizer is not available because i didn't run this i was talking about it but i didn't run this now it's going to download the model as you can see it will take a little bit of time it's downloading a 760 uh, mb file and um, one thing that you need to notice this model has been downloaded with different weights um different uh, parameters so the model that i am currently using on google collab is the smallest model 350 um, million parameter model but as you go you have 6 billion parameter i think 15 billion parameter uh, i tried the 6 billion model it uh, my collab crashed so maybe if you have got collab pro or if you are using a different gpu service provider it might work but in my case it did not work um the moment the six mil six billion dollar model down six billion dollar why did i say billion dollar anyways six billion parameter down model when i downloaded it, um my collab crashed so that's why i'm sticking back to 350 million parameters model um, but if you're free to check it out check out the other uh, models as well the link to the model hub will be in the youtube description so you can check it out all the other parameters um no and you can also you know do inference api live on the hugging face model page now that we have successfully downloaded the model it took a couple of seconds um, as you saw like it must have taken like probably 30 seconds the next thing is we need to take an input text so this is technically called prompt in the world of language models what is a prompt a prompt is an initial text that you give to a language model that will you that the language model will use to create new text 
so prompt is like you're going to prompt the language model to come up with a new text based on the given text uh, so instead of calling it input text it's always good to call it a prompt because it's you're prompting the language model based on this text to come up with something new so if you see my um, code um, what what does it say it says import pandas as pd uh, def json um, to csv input json what i'm implying here is i'm trying to get the code so what is in my intention i'll tell you why i created this prompt my intention is to ask code gen to generate a python code um, that will give me how to convert json to csv using pandas so that's my intention so i'm giving it in this way and before we move on to the next section i would like to quickly highlight one more thing so um, if you see this model name you would see 350 m is the parameters like 350 million 6 billion and you might see this mono what is this mono now so this mono you would see three things nl mono and um, nl mono and multi so what is nl nl is the actual like base language model right and mono is you uh, and then multi is uh, you take that nat uh, simple natural language model and then you trained with any programming language like all the programming languages you can see what are the list of programming languages and multi that is multi sorry and mono is you take that model and then you create a new checkpoint where you trained it with only python so this is like the first level multi is on top of that and mono is on top of that so mono is going to help you spit out only python code i don't know if it will work in javascript i didn't try it but if you want javascript if you want any other programming language then you should ideally use multi if you just want to generate english text then use nl but uh, if you want to generate python code use mono so all you have to do is nl multi like this you have to make changes in both the places like here and here that's that's it so these are like the three different types of model um, with three different parameter uh, values that are uploaded on hugging face model hub so just wanted to let you know how you can use um, the rest of the models now coming back to our prompt uh, giving prompt itself is um, kind of an art these days there is a subdomain in um, applied nlp especially in the large language models llm space called prompt engineering which um, which helps you understand how do you give prompt what kind of prompt you want to give so just pay attention to the prompt your prompt can have a significant impact in the kind of output that you develop so now i'm going to run my prompt so i have a value called text and that's going to contain this prompt the next thing is i have to take this text and then tokenize it of course that's why we have tokenizer one thing that you would see is we have got two device so this is important for us to convert this into a gpu um, element so if you do not have gpu you can just stick to this but because we have gpu um, i'm doing it but this code will ideally work on cpu as well because um, we have set the value but if you want to keep a minimal code if you're just doing it on cpu you can keep it like this so i'm going to run this uh, it's going to take this prompt tokenize it and then um, um, you know have pytorch um, tensors and uh, save it save it inside uh, that is gpu compatible once that is done now we are going to take the model this this model that we downloaded and we are going to convert into a gpu model again this step is required because we are using gpu this step is not required you can completely skip this step if you are going to do it only on cpu so this is model conversion the next thing is now we have everything ready we have the model ready we have the input ids ready which is from our prompt we have to take both of these and then ask the model which in this case is a code gen ai model to generate the output ids okay so now i'm going to generate output ids and what is the length like imagine like the length of the code that you want um you know you can say 256 512 1024 so it has to be one of these things now i'm generating them um you can see that it is processing so model dot generate is working and once this is done the next step is we are going to print we are going to use the tokenizer so here we encoded it next is we are going to decode it very typical hugging face api process we're going to take um, the generated ids decode it and then we are going to finally print the uh, output value and that is exactly what we are going to do next which is print the output value let's see what is going to happen here um i'm okay it's good import pandas as pd dev json is to csv um df blah 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 uh, df uh, to blah 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 and uh, to csv and so it takes input json okay so what it in fact does is it reads 
Okay, so this is really good code. So what, like, what is it doing? It is actually taking the input JSON, right? And then it's using simply read.json. When you read do the read.json using pandas data frame, ideally it's going to save it as a um, data frame. And now it's going to save it as a CSV. But you need a file name when you save it as CSV. So it's actually taking the input JSON object and replace this as a dot JSON with CSV. And then it saves it even with the index false. I think this is a um, this is a really good way of writing the code so now what we can do but but it you know it has a lot of items um do not mind it but uh, at least you know it works fine um, i mean like um your, your open source github copilot is always going to improve and then we are simply using 350 million parameter model we're not using the best best of best so now what i want to do is i want to change the prompt and try something else okay so i want to say import c bond as sns okay and i'm going to say def line plot and inside that, I'm going to give DF. So now what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to create a code that will help me generate a line plot. So let's uh, let's see if it is going to work. And I'm expecting it from Seaborn, not from matplotlib. That's one of the reason why I gave Seaborn at the start, because typically if you ask for line plot, um, your, your um, AI engine could automatically assume that, you know, you want uh, it from matplotlib, but um, yeah, this, once again, the code is, I wouldn't say the code is very clean. Uh, you have a lot of unnecessary things, but if you generally see, you have import Seaborn as SNS, didn't I? Yeah, that's my mistake. That's okay. Uh, def line plot, and then you have got line plot with your DFS data frame, your X, is, um, X axis Y is Y, and then you can say, this is good. So now, finally, I'm going to try one last thing. And uh, let's see, so I'm going to say import re, which is for rejects okay and i'm going to say def detect um extract domain let's say extract domain so i'm um, um, i'm trying to create a code that would help me extract a web domain okay i'm not sure i'm not sure if it's going to work it's quite you know it's quite generic and my prompt is very not very clear um oh it's, uh, it's showing something let's see what does it say it says import re uh, extract domain extract domains from input text but i think the rejects is not complete so i'm going to in increase the maximum text length um you can see how it changes um you're going to get a lot of code oh so it didn't it didn't okay that's um it still did not complete it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to remove import re part and let's see if it is going to change the code in any way so i've given 1024 as my maximum length and i'm just saying extract domain uh, from input text so that's what i mean so if you use the six uh, billion um, parameter model or even the higher model you can actually give natural language here and then it would uh, help you solve the problem uh, i tried that um, it didn't i didn't have quite a good success there but yeah after this one last time i'll give some natural language text here and then see if it is going to work but to quickly summarize the code we first installed the latest version of transformers when then we loaded the tokenizer and then the model um and uh, i mean to download the model and then we just we try to find out our device a gpu or cpu as in it to a value downloaded the model and tokenizer set uh, created a, t a prompt text prompt and uh, then um, t taken the text and uh, encoded it and then uh, converted the model into a gpu model and then generated ask the model to generate a like output text based on output text like the ids based on um, input text and then decoded it and printed the value so now it has a lot of things but it doesn't have the one i wanted which is extract domain let's see let's see let's see let's see okay it okay it kind of assumes that you know if you give an input text um this is how you extract domain but that's not what I, I expected. I wanted it to extract domain based on rejects, um, but I'll give it, uh, I'll give it to it. That's okay. Uh, rejects is hard for even human beings, so I'll give it to it. Okay. So now what I wanted to try is the final thing I wanted to try is I wanted to create, um, like I want to give natural language prompt, uh, like in English, and then I wanted to write some code. So I'm going to say, um, so um, extract email using rejects okay solve solve ex let's see let's see if it's going to work out this is again experimental for me uh, maybe you have already learned whatever you wanted to learn in this video already but uh, 
if you are uh, hanging or hanging around uh, staying still um, for the fun let's see so i ideally this is supposed to like this entire model ideally there are pitches that you can give natural language and then it can create code for you that's the entire pitch but i'm just trying my luck um, i've tried before it the natural language part didn't work i can understand because i'm using the lowest size model so i can automatically assume that it didn't work out for that oh wow it did work that's that's amazing so i said solve extract email using rejects and it has done something so you know what maybe what i can do is i can uh, say get email from url rejects with domain um okay um url that's that's good i didn't expect um i honestly did not expect it to show anything get email from url rejects get email from url rejects get email from url rejects get email from get email from url okay they have a lot of code so what i'm going to what i'm going to do now is i'm going to simply i'm going to simply take one of these pieces okay i'm going to simply take one of these pieces and then see if it's going to work out okay uh, so this is basically we are using the code generated by ai so let's see if i run this does it show any error first of all okay it didn't show any error that's good so i'm going to say copy the function first 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 thing is like the code book right so that's this first thing the second thing i'm going to give is get email from url reject so i have to give some kind of url or um oh oh this is amazing google at apple.com let's see apple.com what does it show oh it extracted the email uh from the given text that's it so here you go so you have got code written by ai that successfully executed and it did what it uh, was asked to do simply using natural language so that's um, that's that's amazing so i hope this video was helpful to you this google collab notebook will be in the youtube description um, just below the like button you can press the like button if you want check it out subscribe to the channel if you have not um, and if you have any feedback let me know in the comment section otherwise uh, i i hope you stay safe happy coding peace